Hey, all right. Well, here's a little tip for how to get the auto router in DipTrace to route on only one side of the board. Um, reasons you might want to do that, uh, say for example, you are routing your own boards at home, or, or etching rather, and you don't want to do a double-sided board, it might be handy to uh, have the auto router only run on one side. Um, so here's, you know, just an example board that I have, uh, which was previously auto routed. What I'm going to do is I'm going to clear the routes that are there. Go to the route menu, unroute all. Now there's a couple different ways that you can do this. Um, uh, for the, for this tutorial, I'm going to be having the auto router only route the top side of the board. Um, so one method that you could use is going to the bottom layer, choosing a route keep out, and then just drawing a nice big square covering the entire bottom side of the board. Now if we go back to the top layer and we run the auto router, it's smart enough to know that it should keep out of that area and it'll only route on the top of the board. Give this a couple of seconds here. Alright, not terrible. A couple little issues that uh, I would need to tweak. You know, we've got some board edge clearance issues here and then we got a couple of unrouted traces which is to be expected and these are things that we could potentially uh, resolve with jumpers on the back side of the board after everything was etched. Um, but let's show you another way that we can do this. I'm going to go ahead and unroute this. I'm going to go back to the bottom side of my board and delete this keep out area because it's not really my favorite way to do it. All right, there we are. Back to normal. So option two is by going up to route, layer setup, and I'm going to go to the bottom layer here. Now this, this might consider a little tricky, but it does work. I'm going to change the layer type on the bottom to plain, and I'm going to leave the net set to none. So technically, um, it shouldn't try to route anything on the bottom, because there's not going to be, uh, you know, it's not open to any type of signal, and it's not assigned to any particular signal. So I'm going to go ahead and hit close, go up to route, and run the auto router. And you can see, it's only routing on the top side of the board. Give this a few seconds, and there we go. So, those are two quick ways that you can set up tip trace to only route on one side of the board. Uh, have fun. We'll see you next time.